welcome to the session of remote sensing and gis till now we have discussed about the very basic information and very basic definition to understand the word remote sensing i guess you are clear with that what is remote sensing now let me tell you the history and story behind the launching of remote sensing and the technical terms related to it now you can see here i am just talking about the space technology you can see here the rocket so let's discuss that how this technology has evolved in our country india which is very important to understand right so remote sensing is how it evolved what we have done to actually gain the information let us discuss that in detail that how is we gain the information and we how we have developed ourselves in this technology now the very first thing i would like to tell you about the history of remote sensing isro and dos what is isro indian space research organization and what is dos department of space so this both are the unit who are working for our country in the sector of space technology and space technology runs on remote sensing process right and gis is the software so let's see in detail the philosophy of remote sensing is possibly divided into three section the very first is what technology is yes what technology is that is what we have discussed without coming into the contact sensors are somewhere into the remote place second why and how the technology has been developed why this technology has been developed which is very important for our nation and which has gained a lot importance towards the defense sector we are going to see where are the other applications but i am just giving you this example because you can correlate in near future in this one and third one what the technology used for and why it is beneficial to us let us see in detail the history of remote sensing is described in three section right the very first is early age which is innovation and invention of photography then we came to the middle age that is photography on aircraft and then into the modern age cameras carried by rocket now you can see here how this technology evolved the very first is what invention of photography when i take image then only i can make it out that what information i am collecting right so people started taking the photographs from the cameras during that period mobile phone were not available so they started taking the photographs of the camera they take a image they take a black and white image they take a print out and they start analyzing the information what they have gathered next technology came up with photography on aircraft yes what was aircraft how photography was taken we'll discuss that detail in this session only but now we thought of keeping the camera and binding the camera on somewhere else object and we start taking the photograph and third which is the most innovative way was sending the cameras in the aircraft to the space and start taking the images which is known as remote sensing this is how history evolved right so indian space research organization which is developed by dr vikram sarabhai who is known as father of space has developed all these things and wanted our nation to develop more and more and you all know that in space technology india is at the leading position right now who is successing in many of the projects related to remote sensing now let's discuss in detail that how it evolved right after gaining the independence nation development was the major question in the field of science and technology so indian committee which is known as incospar led by professor sarabhai was then part of tata institute of fundamental research right so sarabhai took an initiative to start this technology in the field of science so that our nation can develop in many sector 
1962, in Pospar, took a decision to set up Humba Equatorial Launching Station in Trivandrum, very near to Earth's magnetic equator. You all know that equator. You all know that meridians, right? So, scientists during the committee, Indian committee, and the engineers decided that we should make one launching station. So that during that period, we have got the clear idea of if we send something into the space, it will take the photograph, which is known as remote sensing technology, and it will be very helpful to us. So this was the idea, which is the uh, organized by all the scientists and the trainees who were taking the training towards that period of time during the period of Dr. Uh, Sarabhai's period, right? Successful launch of satellite by Indian scientists and engineers. What happened towards that? On November 21st, 1963, first sounding rocket named Nike Apache successfully launched, right? And hence, Sarabhai had a dream of Indian satellite launch vehicle. So this was the period when we are doing just trial and error, and the scientists and engineers were taking the training for this technology, and they have just tried one thing by making man-made satellite, which is known as Nike Apache. Which is a sounding rocket which has a lot huge sound of that when it is launched and they started that and then Sarabhai has dreamt that I have to do the Indian launching vehicle satellite for my country. After that recognizing the immense socio-economic benefit yes look into that we also got the benefit for our country and space technology in 1969 decided to launch the Indian vehicle. After that, working strategies for Indian launching satellites. What was that? Sri Harikota is the place from where till today also we are launching the satellites. Right? That is the launching station for country India. On August 15, 1969, Incospar was reconstituted and ISRO was created under the Department of Atomic Agency to conduct research. Right? So in Cospar committee then made ISRO and they have came in such a way that they can launch the satellites. After that they came up with the short string budget of R&D. The participation was seen from civilian industry and we have ultimately started the funding and then our loss is created for the fund arrangements and we have started the research in this field which is known as history of remote sensing ISRO and loss. How is ISRO formed and how is loss? There are total various nine ISROs in all over India and every sector of ISRO is working for the different thing. If you are talking about Ahmedabad ISRO, they are working on the satellite making. Right? Other is for Sri Harikota, when satellite payloads go towards that, they do the analysis and checking of the payloads and they do the analysis. Data gathering center is also a different ISRO. So under nine, there are total nine ISROs working for this Department of Space Technology. Now ages of remote sensing, as we have discussed about, first was the balloon which was developed and through this we have decided to take the image. After that, we decided to keep the cameras into the pigeons. So pigeons can give us the information. As it flies, we can get the photographs. Similarly, after that, human has developed this type of lights and they are taking the images. And at the end, this is how aircraft and we have started taking the images. And then we have gone to the space by the rocket after launching our rocket vehicle. Now, on the very first time, in 1840, director of Paris Observatory advocated use of ethered balloons. This was the balloon used to take the photography. Okay. Next is Gaspar Felix. In 1958, photographed the house of French village from balloon ethered at height of 80 meter. Right. Okay. And in 1903, Julius Newbron patent a breast mounted camera for pigeon which was capable to expose automatically at 30 seconds interval but not good remote sensing platforms. So sensors which we are making, how can it will take and help us to take the images? This is how it helped us.
right? Hence, in almost 1906, the aircraft technology and middle age, the flying machine invented by Wright brothers. You all know this, Wright brothers, they have invented the technology. And we have started using an awareness of this remote sensing technology. So this is how is the ages of remote sensing. First is the third balloon. Then we have tried with the pigeons mounting the cameras on their breast. Then we have started with the right, right brothers that who have made this platform and we can have. And lastly, we have the aircraft and the space technology has evolved in such a Next, we have the Indian remote sensing launching process. Let us discuss what is Indian remote sensing launching process. Basically, it takes that how is rocket launched. Let's discuss that in detail that how is rocket launched. You can see here, there are the various numbers of components into the rocket. The sensors are kept into the rocket. They are automized in such a way that in which frequency it should fall, in which orbit it should fall, what data it should be gathering should be sent. Now, we have till now launched our launching vehicles. Launching vehicles in what? You can see this white and orange substance, white and orange pipe-like structure that is the launching vehicle. In that, we have sent our sensor. Sensor will go into the space. Now, what is sensor? Look at this yellow color thing. You can see that is the sensors which we have made. Right? After that, we are closing that launching rocket. We have the timelines and then after uh, counting for that, we launch the vehicle. After launching, we get the information that is into the bands. We are taking the information of whole Earth. That is known as remote sensing launching process. So this is how it completely launches. So this is the process, how it works and how is the launching takes place. So basically we are keeping the our substances into it and it is going upstairs and it is launching properly. So it will take the information. Now, before much going into the detail, let's discuss in detail basic terminologies of remote sensing. What is basic terminologies? The very first thing if I would like to tell you is orbit. What is orbit? An orbit is a regular repeating path that one object in space takes around the another one. What do you understand by types of orbit? That is geosynchronized orbit and the polar synchronized orbit. What is geosynchronized orbit? Basically, is Earth center orbit with an orbital period that matches Earth rotation. As Earth rotate, the satellite will rotate which is known as geosynchronized orbit, which is actually on its latitude axis, means it will be working on its horizontal axis. What is polar synchronized? It will be working on its vertical axis, which is known as polar synchronized. Next, you can see here the image I have shown that is polar synchronized. It is working in the vertical section and next to it, it is working in the horizontal section, which is known as geosynchronized and polar synchronized. After that, what is satellite? Artificial object that is placed in orbit is known as satellite. Means sensors which are carried into the white and orange portion, you can see that is known as satellite. The satellite will be carrying the sensors towards it. Next is sensors. An artificial object which will take image of the earth from orbit. Satellite carries sensors. Right? So satellite is a platform on which sensors are Satellite is a platform on which sensors are kept. Mind well, okay? So you don't get confused about it. Next is SWAT. What is SWAT basically? SWAT, the area imaged on the surface is referred to as SWAT. Leave, look to the image what I have shown. That is the sensor who is taking the image is known as SWAT. The area which is covered to take the image is known as SWAT. What is nadir point? Nadir point on the ground is directly in the line with remote sensing system and the center of Earth. See the nadir point, you can see the remote sensing center and the center point of the Earth. That is known as our nadir point. With that, these are all the physics terms, right? So this is how is whole about the basic of remote sensing. You would be going to know about it. And this is the history, launching process. And this is what is the basic ages of remote sensing. 
I guess student, now you are clear what is remote sensing. The definition of satellite orbit, geosynchronized, polar synchronized. What is that? When we are sending any sensors to the space, it should rotate in the horizontal way or the or vertical way should be decided. Then only that information is helpful to us. And then only we are launching our own satellites. Thank you.